So I wanted to do a brief video on the diesel emissions exhaust system. And um, I'll try to keep this short, but basically there's a lot of people out there who don't understand this stuff. It's widely available, you can research it, but a lot of people don't understand this stuff. Some people say that they've never experienced a regen, so their truck must not regen. Your truck regens. It's supposed to be seamless, you're not supposed to know. If it tells you, it just means your DPF is just extra full. So we'll, we'll get to all that, how it works, what the dock is, the SCR, DPF, and so forth. We'll, we'll get to all that. You got two variants here. For your Ford pickup models, you got this system up here. You got your diesel oxidational catalyst first, your SCR, and then your DPF, diesel particulate filter. Cabin chassis, you got your dock, DPF, and SCR. For Ram trucks, this is the same setup. Dock, DPF, and SCR for pickup trucks and their cabin chassis. Ford and GM uses this for their pickup trucks. Dock, SCR, DPF. Okay, scroll down here. Basically, from your turbo downpipe, your exhaust will then flow through your diesel oxidation catalyst. Now, this is a ceramic catalytic converter, which oxidizes hydrocarbons in the exhaust and generates heat for the SCR and DPF to function properly. How does it generate heat? It happens during regeneration. We'll get to that in just a second. Your SCR system, this is your SCR. The SCR reduces NOx, that's your oxides of nitrogen in the exhaust. To do this, the SCR system uses a ceramic catalyst that has been coated with copper and iron and injecting DEF, that's your diesel exhaust fluid, into the exhaust stream. Clarification, diesel exhaust fluid does not add power, okay? For those of you who've seen that Ike Gauntlet video from TFL, it does not add power. It is strictly emissions related. It does not add power to the engine. Then you got your diesel particulate filter. The DPF is a highly engineered silicon carbine wall flow catalyst that traps particles reducing the amount of black smoke emitted from the tailpipe. The three modes of DPF regeneration, that's cleaning your exhaust, right? Cleaning the, the soot out of the DPF are active, passive, and then manual or OCR. You've seen my OCR videos where I can do it manually, so I'm not gonna really get into that. Your mission system has DPF pressure sensors, has EGT sensors. It also has NOx, um, your NOx sensors, so it can detect um, how much NOx your truck is producing. So. So we're gonna continue going on here. Your, your exhaust system, this is it's in full, right? Your pickup model, your dock, SCR, DPF. Okay, so um, basically regeneration, right? Regeneration process. As soot gathers in the after treatment system, the exhaust begins to become restricted, right? So to help clean your exhaust, it has to go through regeneration. You have three basic types of regeneration. You got passive, active, and manual. Passive regeneration takes place when the exhaust temperatures exceeds 300 degrees Celsius or 572 degrees Fahrenheit. This process does not affect engine performance and is transparent to the driver. Basically, this happens like on the freeway. Um, at speeds for Ford at 30 miles an hour or up between nine and 40 minutes. Like you're not supposed to know, it's supposed to be seamless. That's how it's supposed to work. So for those who say I've never experienced regen, it just means that your truck's doing what it's supposed to do. That's all. It's just doing it seamlessly. The truck also has, not only does it have pressure sensors, but it has a mileage limit indicator, right? So if the truck reaches 500 miles, actually it's between 100 and 500 miles, depending on exhaust soot load. If it reaches 500 miles and the truck hasn't regen, the truck will automatically do a regen. So there's that. And typically it'll probably let you know. So active regeneration. Active regeneration occurs when exhaust temperatures are insufficient to achieve passive regeneration and the DPF pressure sensor is indicating the need for regeneration. The PCM automatically activates the left bank injectors only during the exhaust stroke to raise exhaust temperatures to begin regeneration while the vehicle is in motion. Engine performance is not affected by rege active regeneration. However, the engine and exhaust tone may be changed. So what does this mean when it says it's, it, it uh, activates the left bank fuel injectors only during the exhaust stroke? Basically on, the, on Ford, uh, with the number eight cylinder, 
it injects fuel into the exhaust stroke. Now, what that does, the fuel then goes down the, the downpipe, it reaches the diesel oxidation catalyst. Remember how it said that it generates heat? That's where that heat comes from. The diesel fuel mixes with the dock and it generates heat in order to do an active regen. Okay, so and on Ram trucks, it's the number six cylinder that fuel is injected to. I think for Ford, the 6.4 power stroke, it used the seven and eight cylinder. Um, it might have been like the way in early 6.7 Fords, but 17 and up, it's the number eight cylinder. And for GM, they have a ninth injector, so they don't even have that process. They don't do it in cylinder. And they got manual regeneration, basically OCR. You've seen my videos where I've done a manual regeneration in the truck. I'm sitting in the parking lot and boom, I do a regeneration. So frequency of regeneration, it, the, the mileage varies. Again, it's between 100 and 500 miles, also dependent on uh, soot load. Uh, but again, if your truck reaches 500 miles and it hasn't done a regeneration, the truck is just gonna automatically do a regeneration. Now, from what I understand with GM, that's not how it works. It's strictly based on soot load. So you could go up to maybe 700 miles before a regen, but again, these things are supposed to be seamless, you're not supposed to know. So what happens to all that soot in the uh, DPF? Well, it eventually collects. You eventually have to get that stuff clean. All the ash uh, will have to be clean. Okay, so SCR, right? Diesel exhaust fluid. Again, it does not add power. Uh, I, it doesn't add power. It's strictly for emissions purposes. Diesel exhaust fluid is injected into the SCR system, you saw that mixer in you know the earlier photos, and it has that filter that's you know that ceramic filter, whatever that's in there, and it chemically changes your exhaust. Um, by the time it, what its purpose is to reduce the NOx in your exhaust, your I, uh, oxides of nitrogen, it reduces that. So by the time your exhaust goes through your dock, SCR, and DPF. What comes on the tailpipe is nitrogen and water vapor. That's it. So your modern day diesels are extremely clean. Um, so they, it's it's a huge, I, I think it's a great thing. Although I think that um, we can build diesels where you don't need your diesel particulate filter anymore because regeneration does have, a, does have an after effect. Because we do it uh, in cylinder, right? Sometimes that fuel will wash past the cylinder walls and get into your oil, which is called making oil. Now, that is not good because you've got diesel fuel in your oil. Now, if you do a lot of passive regeneration on the highway, it's not, you're not going to have, you're not going to be making oil. I've never, my trucks never made oil because I do a lot of highway driving. But for service trucks, logging trucks, that's constantly idling all day long, and they have to do more active or manual regenerations, you're gonna, you're gonna see more diesel fuel getting washed past the cylinder walls. So um, this is not good for the oil. Um, DPF regenerations, I mean, you, you're producing a lot of heat. Um, and over time, me personally, don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it's a good thing, and I think there's better ways to um, take care of that. Anyway, so this is just kind of more looking at your diesel exhaust fluid injector. You know, is your is your tank um, and whatnot. So this is just want to present all this information out there. There's your NOx sensor. This is your mixer in the SCR when diesel exhaust fluid is injected. It goes through a mixer, so it's mixing the exhaust and the fluid together, and then it goes through your ceramic catalyst before it hits the DPF. And all this, it, it chemically changes um, your uh, exhaust um, stream. Your, your the exhaust, the diesel exhaust is coming out of the truck. So I hope this helps. A lot of folks out there, a lot of this information is not present. Uh, TFL Truck, wish you would have done a video like this. I, a little amateur guy, had to do this for you, so you're welcome. Um, but there you go.